Hello, this is Kai. I'll be doing another video. Today I will be doing assignment number two. Uh, and this is an introduction to Java. So welcome to Java. And in this first video, we will be doing something called the Pythagorean theorem um, file. And how it works is pretty much, you all know from geometry back in the days, that uh, to find the third side of a triangle, you would do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now this, in order to square root uh, the a squared plus b squared, we would need to use a math operation called root um, with the integer uh, x inside. In this case, x has to be a double, otherwise it would not be able to uh, create a double output. But anyways, um, as you can see, it uses the same console program from last time. And let's get to it. So we go to our Eclipse file and we open the Pythagorean theorem. Now the nice thing about this is that they already include the acm.program.star and so we won't need to touch that. Um, the only thing we really just need to fill is just the public void run. Okay, so what we're going to do first is have the uh, title, the printout, um, listed first. So print ln and we're going to put enter values to compute the Pythag Korean theorem. Okay, cool. Now, again, uh, sticking with the whole concept of keeping the method style, we're going to go ahead and create the uh, Pythagorean theorem method. So we'll call that Pythag. Pythag. All right. And with any method, we are also going to have to create the stub for it too. So let's create the private um, private and we want it to give us an output. So private uh, double Pythag and we want it to input two numbers. Let's call it double A and double B. Okay, so uh, we created a method that takes in two doubles and it gives us one output, which is a double, okay? And in this method, we want to put the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. So how uh, we're gonna do that is we're gonna first create a result, okay? A result variable, let's call that double result. And what we're gonna do is we're going to set this result equal to the uh, math square root of a, and keep in mind, you don't have the square function. You would need to do a times a for the a squared plus b times b. And you'll notice that uh, whatever it calculates on the right will get inputted into the variable result on the left. And once we do that, we want to return the value of result, and that would be given to us by return result. Okay, now something new. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you something called a read int, um, or a read double. The purpose of that is to uh, shortcut a lot of the typing. So basically, it will look something like this. Um, let's let's create a double, and I can even again use a. It wouldn't matter, and um, that would not coincide with the double uh, a in the method. They would be considered separate. And then I would put double a is equal to um, read double. Okay. And then uh, what I want to put in the quotation is the little prompt that appears right before this example right here, e, a colon. So we put a colon space and then close it off with a semicolon and there you have it. We set a read double which is going to read a value um, which will be a double, could be an integer but you know the integer will transfer uh, into a double. 
and it will plug that number into the value a. So whatever you hit for a will be now the new value for a. And again, we'll do the same thing for b, and we'll read double, and we'll have b set as that. And then now we're gonna plug those two values uh, into the form into the method pythag. So a comma b, okay? And we need that uh, value to be printed. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, print uh, ln, and we'll put c is equal to, notice how I'm uh, adding spaces inside the quotations because uh, those spaces don't show up in the text, so you need to create those spaces to create that that uh, feel of a space. And then I will hit the plus sign because you can actually uh, put that in the text as well. And one more parenthesis just like that. So there you have it. We just created the Pythagorean theorem file and that's the method and that is the program itself. Now again, uh, if you want to have this program run multiple times, you can just easily put this into a while loop and uh, have it repeat as many times as you want. Uh, just for the purpose, we are just going to have it run once. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And we're going to go to Pythag, Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, so it's asking us for our values. So just copy the model template that we have there. 3.5, 4.2, and it's given us 5.46 and that's the solution okay so as you can see this is the code it's not that many lines all right well thank you very much if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you later